Hello and welcome back to another Red Gaming Tech Gaming News Roundup. As always, my name is Amata and I'm going to be giving you all the latest news in gaming as of the 31st of July 2012. There may just be another God of War Saga collection for PS3 on its way. An unnamed retail source has said that the collection will be available in late August, but they haven't given any details as to what the package will actually include. Now, as most God of War fans will probably know by now, the first pack, God of War package that has been released was the remastered port of the PS2 titles God of War 1 and 2, while has the second had the PSP games God of War Chains of Olympus and God of War Ghosts of Sparta, respectively. So fans have been speculating that this final collection may be all of the God of War games today on one Blu-ray disc, offering the perfect chance for people to, to catch up on the series, obviously in the lead up to the release of the God of War Ascension next March, which is looking to be very, very epic indeed. I'm pretty sure that what they're speculating is most likely going to be correct. I don't see really what else this could be. If it's going to be a saga collection, it's obviously going to be, you know, the saga. Uh, obviously not with God of War 3 included. It may possibly be, but I doubt it, to be honest, on a single Blu-ray with all you the others as well. Man. Maybe as a yeah, double Blu-ray release they could possibly do that, I'm not entirely sure. But I think it will at least be God of War 1 and 2 with the PSP games and all that good stuff on it. Basically all the God of War games to date, except for God of War 3. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I may be getting that myself at some point because obviously remastered versions of everything is always good and if it's all on one disc that's pretty good for me because I haven't actually picked up the other collections myself. Those of you looking forward to the Planet Side 2 beta will have to wait a little longer, unfortunately. The beta was actually meant to be starting early this week, but the Sony Online president, John Smedley, has announced it's been delayed to the end of the week, or possibly even early next week, which isn't really what you want to hear at all. He used Twitter to announce the delay of the beta, claiming that the beta was planned for today or tomorrow, but we need to make sure it's awesome. He also said that the team is working like crazy, we need to polish some stuff and test it before we let in a massive number of people. The beta should be launched early this week, barring any unforeseen circumstances, and ensuring the beta can handle a large number of people it definitely seems like a good reason for delay. So yes, I would agree with that completely. Obviously, it's a bit disappointing that we have to wait even longer for the release of the beta of Planet Side 2, because this is actually a game that I'm quite looking forward to, so I'm a little bit disappointed that we have to wait a little bit longer, but I understand I'm not pissed or anything like that, I'm just more like, oh, okay. But, you know, I would much rather they take a few extra days to make sure it's as polished as possible as it can be for a beta, of course, before release, because if they release it before it's actually ready and it basically crashes because it can't handle the huge influx of people or what have you, then obviously that's not optimal for anyone and it'll be even worse because, you know, it will take longer to fix or people get a small taste of having it taken away. So it's better that they just take that little bit extra time to make sure it's entirely ready before they launch. So very sensible decision here. Slightly disappointing for people like me who actually want to play the game, but it'll be all more worth the wait, I'm sure, with this extra polish added on to it. And finally, we have some Ouya news for you guys, which is always good. I'm very interested in that particular console. It's looking to be a very interesting and nice piece of kit. But the news in particular is that Square Enix have announced that they are going to be launching Final Fantasy 3 on the console. And apparently it's going to be available for the launch of the Ouya, which is of course expected to hit shelves in March 2013. This is according to a translation of a Japanese announcement, so some of it is probably a little bit open to interpretation, but I imagine that this is pretty accurate. So I'm, I'm really happy to see some more titles being confirmed for the Ouya. It's looking to be a really, really nice piece of kit indeed. And if you want to know some more information about the Ouya in general, Crimson actually did a recent video talking about the specs and what the Ouya in general could mean for the industry because obviously a completely open source console is something we haven't really seen not to this not in this particular style at any rate so yeah anyway I'm 
particularly looking forward to that. Final Fantasy III, perhaps it remade or maybe even just straight out ported, would be very, very nice and quite suited to the console as well. And obviously, as well was announced last week, on live will also be available at launch on the Android console. So, obviously, we'll be looking to play some games that it shouldn't really be able to handle. And the first idea that popped into my mind there is maybe now we will finally see Amnesia The Dark Descent getting some form of console release, because I've always thought that that game needs to come out on XBLA and PSN. There's no good reason for it not to, so hopefully we'll be seeing something like that because of the online partnership with the Ouya there. But regardless of all that, Final Fantasy 3, very, very good choice indeed. I'm sure that will sway quite a few people into parting with their cash when this console is finally released. And I'm nice. I'm very pleased to see this console getting some good exclusive releases for its launch. Alright guys, that's it for this particular gaming news roundup. As always, thank you very much for watching and if you're interested in more daily news and everyday articles and all that good stuff, please do go check out our website at redgamingtech.com. We're also at the moment running a giveaway for three Smite closed beta keys. We also have a video on the channel explaining how to enter, so please go and check that out if you haven't done so already. And yeah, thank you again for watching and as always I want to hear from you guys about this video or just anything I've discussed here. I want to hear your opinions, you know, you know what I think, but what do you think? And as always, if you know there's any discuss um, any important things happening in the community right now that you feel is worth discussing, I want to hear about it because all this big news is all well and good. But the small guy also matters too in gaming, at least in my opinion. Anyway, thanks again for watching, I'll see you again next time.